Hello, thank you for watching this video. So on this video, I'll be doing question 4 of May, June 2022, question paper, mathematics paper 1. And this is an exponential function. So I'm going to read question 4 and then answer the questions that follow. Okay, let's go. The graph g of x, which is equal to this thing here, this exponential function, passes a true point E, which have these coordinates. So, you are told, you are given a graph, g of x, which have this equation here. And you are told that this graph of yours passes through this point, minus 2 and 10. So, let's go to the problem. Calculate the value of a. So, they want you to find the value of a, right? How do you find the value of a? You use the information that you are given. You are given this point, e, which shall have x coordinate, minus 2, which you substitute there, and y coordinate, 10. Which is substitute there. Then you solve for a. That's what you do. So you say g of x, g of x is equal to a 1 over 3 raised x plus 7. What is g of x? G of x is 10. Right? Start from there. It's called a raised 1 over 3 raised x. What is your x minus 2 plus 7? Then you transpose the 7 to the other side. You have 10 minus 7. A raised 1 over 3 is minus 2. Right? And then, so this is 3 is equal to, um, you can punch this on your calculator. You find that A, punch all of this, it's 9. So it's A times 9 divided by 9 divided by 9. So a is equal to 1 over 3. You found the value of a. You stop here. So let's go to 4.2. 4.2 says calculate the coordinates of the y-intercept of g. We want the coordinates of the y-intercept of g. What do we know? If your graph is passing through the y-intercept, we know the x value is 0. So we know that our x is 0 there for the y, if we are trying to find the y-intercept. So we have g of x is equal to a, which is 1 over 3, times 1 over 3 raised x plus 7. We know our x is what? Our x is 0. So g at 0 is equal to 1 over 3, 1 over 3 raised 0. Plus 7. Right? Then you punch this on the calculator. This is 1. So, over 3, you bring 1 plus 1. So, g at 0 is equal to 22 over 3. So, the coordinates for the y intercept is 0 and 22 over 3. Those are the coordinates. So we're done with this question as well. 4.2. Then we go to 4.3. I'm going to clean this part here. Then we go to 4.3. So your A is 1 over 3. So we are asked to consider this function here. Describe the translation from J of x to H of x. So, so you are given that J of x is equal to 1 over 3. Is 1 over 3 raised x plus 7. And then this g of x is translated or moved to h of x, which is only just 1 over 3 raised x. So now, they are asking you to describe the translation from this to that. How is this thing moved to get where we are at H. How do they move this thing around to move from G to H? That's what they are asking you. So, what you do is, you say, okay, I have 1 over 3 times 1 over 3 raise x, all this x, right? Plus 7. So what do you do? So you have 1 over 3 times 1 over 3 all raised x. So the bases are the same. 
right? There's a multiplication in between. You only take one base, one over three, and you add your exponents. Mm -hmm. The exponent is one here, so we have x plus one plus seven. Right? This is your g of x still. So now, if now he went from having this thing here to that, right? So we've moved from x plus 1 only to x. So what that means is, um, okay, so now he went from, sorry, so you went from having x plus 1 to, x, to having x plus 0 here. And then you went on to have plus 7 here mm -hmm. and plus 0 here. So from this part, I think we can all easily agree that this have been shifted 7 units down to get to 0. Right? So this g is shifted 7 units down to move from the 7 to 0 of h. Right? And then here, we have x plus 1, right? There, we have x plus 0. So, what happened is, your g is shifted 7 units down. And 1 unit to the right. That's what has happened here. So this G is shifted one unit down, one unit down, and one unit to the right. Sorry, G is shifted seven units down and one unit to the right. That's what happened here. So this is how you move from G to H. So you must move your G seven units down and one unit to the right. Let's go. 4.3.2. Determine the equation of the inverse of h in the form y is equal to. So they want you to find the equation of the inverse of h. So h and x is equal to 1 over 3, all these guys. So to find the inverse of this guy here, you must reflect h about line y is equal to x. So your x and y become y and x, which is your x and y swap around. So now you have what? You have your x, x and y will swap around is equal to 1 over 3 raised h of x. Right? So from here you solve for your h again. What do you have? You say, okay, log of x equal to h of x log of 1 over 3. Or, you say, okay, put log on both sides. Say, log 1 over 3 raised h of x. So, if you have log of something that have a power, that power comes to the front. So if you have log of one, if you have log of one over three raised h of x, the power, the exponent will go to the front. So you have log of x is equal to h of x log one over three. Right? Then you divide by log one over three. Divide by log one over three. This and that goes away. Your inverse is equal to log of x over log of 1 over 3. Or you can simplify it and say it's log 3 raise x. So, oh, sorry, log 1 over 3 raise x. So here's your final answer. Your inverse. You don't have space, your inverse is equal to um, what is it? It's log 1 over 3, you see 3 here, and you have your 
exit. Or you can just leave it here, it's fine as well. So then it's fashion. Then we move to the next one. 